Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, children of all ages. It is this week's Gaming Face Bunch Gaming Roundup. And thank you very much for those who already joined us. So, Nigel, how are you doing? Hello. Yeah, all good. All good. So, uh, there's a question I ask you every week. Uh, what have you been playing? Uh, I played a bit of the Ascent. And also yes. Dale. <laughs> I, I watched I watched your ascent video on YouTube. Please, for the love of God, do not spend too much time in the menus. Um, <laughs> oh, do you know it's uh, learning how to play that game. Sometimes, yeah, you're sitting there going, uh, "What?" I, I, I started fast forwarding to, 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 to scrub a bit through the to the menu. There, it's like, oh, okay, cracky. Well, um, yeah, that's only the start. Oh my word! Yes. So, what are you um, playing? What have I been playing? I uh, I've been playing Apex Legends because they got a new thing in their a new character in there called the Seer. Uh, basically, he's a gay black dancer. If you see it, you go, "That's a gay black dancer." It's like, what's his power? Power of butterflies. <laughs> the power of <laughs> interpretive like, dance. The power of is just like, why? Um, uh, yeah. So so yeah, I uh, I've played. I've been playing that. Um, I'm, I had a quick go on. The old Castlevanias because I bought the Castlevania collection for like three ninety nine on a Xbox sale. Um, so I've had a quick go on on them. So I was playing Super Castlevania and but uh, Castlevania Bloodlines, which was fun. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying that. Um, I'm thinking about playing Ghostbusters soon because uh, it's cool. So anyway, I think it's time we got into the gaming news, uh, and I'm going to go backwards this week. So, our first story on the block is PS2 specs leaked as rumours claim that Sony is playing planning triple A VR games. Crikey, I need to put this... That's not even an old man vision. Um, <laughs> well, you see, you did what I just did earlier. You said PS2. It's a PS2. Oh, did I say PS2? It's you! You made me say PS2! You would, you would Nigel! Newly leaked specs uh, for the next-gen PSVR look very impressive. Sony has allegedly planned to support it with more first-party games. Now, I can believe that. Uh, don't know how long or how good they'll be, because the last one they did, I think, was the Iron Man VR game. Uh, earlier this week, Digital Foundry hinted, that, hinted about having seen the latest technology specifications for the next-generation PR a PS VR headset, not PlayStation 2, right? Um... <laughs> They didn't say what they were, but they did say they, uh, they say that they haven't been leaked yet, and that means they uh, they may make the headset look even better compared to the leaks from earlier this year. It sounds like they're putting a lot of kind of weight and stuff into uh, doing a PS VR headset. Uh, I like the PS VR. Wasn't for everyone though. It was. It did suffer from a bit of a novelty factor. I haven't tried it with the PS Five yet, which I need to do. Well, you got the adapter, um, so crack on, mate. Yeah, I got the adapter. <laughs> yeah, the, this, this is, there's some, a few bits in here that sound quite cool. Uh, supposedly, uh, the new headset has two Fresnel OED screens at a resolution of 2000 by 2040. That 40 makes all the difference. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's something that's been leaked before and also uh, supports HDR and has a full field of view of 110 degrees is more interesting uh, though sony is uh, though sony's plans for the soft more interesting than what sony has planned for the software oh i need to i need to, to when everyone's not looking to bolt it up to 125 percent so i can read it properly um but ps vr2 fabulous um i like I like hearing new things um i as i said i've got to try my vr on my ps5 it has the connections has the capabilities has all the bits there should work um 
yeah, it's uh, yeah, the, the one over you've got is, is decent. I think the one we played, it was a Star Wars game, right? And yes, that was that was quite good fun, and that it looked pack... fantastic when you had the headset on. Do you know what the worst thing is? It's that is better than the one they released. Uh, which one? What the squadrons? So yeah, it's so the, the, the Rogue Squadron or whatever they released as a PS as a game that could support VR. That one, that one section in Battlefield One on Star Wars Battlefield One was better than that. Yeah, it was. I have no idea why. It, 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 it wasn't hard to re replicate what they did previously. They had all the bloody models, but the the Star Destroy model not as good. It's annoying because you play that one, the one that you played. It is. Mwah, magnifique as a as a, like a tech demo um but yeah it, it's not great and the other one was ace combat ace combat oh love that um they can't take an i just there's one thing i have learned you can't take an a10 off of a, a, a shoot off an aircraft carrier it doesn't work just just land and see embarrassing actually just like whoosh, dunk. <laughs> watch this so you roll the engines up to 150 percent they press the button to launch off the carrier whoosh, in VR, you, and, and it's weird because I, I swear to God, when you're playing VR and you leave the deck, your ass kind of kicks out a bit like you do if you're on a plane. I, my brain just puts that in there. I know it doesn't exist, but I, it's in the, yeah, it's it's you see it's what, what I think you need, you need flight sim, Microsoft flight sim with VR. That's what you it need. It does, it does exist with VR. I've seen people play it. With VR, um, it's it's real. I showed you. It's really zen. Just sit there, and just just casually fly around the pyramids, or or um, uh, um, oh, what was it? New York or the, the 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 praying Jesus in Brazil? I can't remember what that was called. The Christ. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Southern it, Christ. It's the Christ. Yeah. The it's, Christ Redeemer, I think it is. Yeah, Christ the Redeemer. Yeah, um, that. Doing that, that's fantastic and really enjoyable. Um, I think that it's one of those things where you, you've, you've got to do it. Anyway, um, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I imagine it'll be about 500 quid. Yeah, about 500 quid. If, it, yeah, do you know, it'll probably cost the same as a PS5. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, it's a safe bet. I say it's a safe bet. It just depends what you get with it. Because you really kind of want the full kit with it. You want the you want the the the, the hand things um, and yeah. um, the controllers. The controllers that they're showing in this uh, in this article they do look quite smart. But I think it's sort of like a a mix between a, a few that's already out there, like the Oculus and the um, is, is it a Samsung or something? There's a couple out there already. The uh, HTC Vive. You're thinking that's of. it. That's it. The Vive. The Samsung. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it looks cool. Uh, anyway, um, let's move on to something with a little bit of a sour note. We'll leave it there. So, uh, last week we were talking about uh, Blizzard and the fun and games that they're having there with with their uh, how can I put the staff behavior and lack of HR involvement. I think it's probably the best way of describing it. Lack of professional environment. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, so we've got um, Blizzard president. Oh, this guy looks creepy as fuck. Sorry. Blizzard. Bliz, Blizzard? Got one Blizzard. of those smirks. Blizzard. No, well, no, it's because he's got a ponytail. He's old. He's got a ponytail. Yeah. And he thinks he's cool because of that. Blizzard president <laughs> J. Allen Barak uh, leaving the companies to pursue new opportunities. Where have we heard that before? That sounds familiar. I, I, I wonder who would, how would you, yeah. whenever we've had, say, uh, whenever we've been working together and we had, uh, say, a, a, a more senior member of staff leave under a cloud or quickly, we always hear leaving the company to pursue. That's like the fired. <laughs> he jumped before he was pushed, maybe. Um, yeah, so. Um, Blizzard president Jay Albrecht exited the embattled developer Activision Blizzard has announced. Uh, Jay Albrecht is leaving, uh, leaving the company to pursue new opportunities. Activision Blizzard said, We've done that it's in the title. Uh, Activision, I can't say Activision Blizzard. Activision Blizzard made 
Jen O'Neill and Mike Yabara, co-leaders of Blizzard. Um, he, yeah, I didn't like him when, I think it was when they had, do you remember they had that, what do you mean you've not got mobile phones presentation? Did you ever see that one? For, is this for Diablo? This was for Diablo, yeah. Yeah. He wasn't up there, but he was like kind of he was like kind of there. This is the shit. It's like, no, it's not. It's shit. Not <laughs> yeah. the you shit. Like Diablo. You've got a mobile yeah. phone. Have Diablo on mobile. Should've, Nobody should've, asked for that. <laughs> you know what? It should have if they'd done it right, they would have gone right. We've done it so you've got it on PC so you can play it in the browser. You've got it on your phone so you can play it on your phone. You've got it on your tablet so you can play it on your tablet. You can play it on Mac, you can play it on iPad, play it on Android tablet, you can play it on the fucking fridge, you can play it everywhere. Yeah, you can sit down in a group and you have local co-op, yeah. That sort of thing. Do you know... So that's how you'd sell that shit, but not the way they, they did, sorry. No, yeah, and uh, do you know what? Uh, Genshin Imp Impact done just that. It's out on everything. Yeah, it's, live, yes. it's probably on dog leads, for all I know. You know. <laughs> it's, on, it's on your toilet it's, thing. It's there. literally on everything, and, it, and you just log in and you play, uh, you, you, and it's free as well. So they sort of miss a trick, I think, with uh, with Diablo. That's that's Mike Yabara. Any money that he's had his face photoshopped, so he's got a smile on it. Yeah, just a... that does not look right. Is that is that Marcus <laughs> Phoenix from Gears of War behind him? It is. Ah, that's not very blissedy. Um, but yeah, it's yeah. I I knew that you, they would get you you'd get the sacrificial lamb when it comes to these sort of things. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's not good. It's not good. We'll keep an eye on this because we'll, we'll hear more and more as it comes out. And yeah. hopefully the truth, the truth, as I said, as long as, as I say, due process gets followed and then it's the, everyone adheres to the letter of the law and there's no underhanded tricks planned. Um, the people who have been wronged will be righted. Um, depending on who's been wrong and who's been righted, I think is, is, is the question here. Um, but, I think we should now poke some fun at something. Uh, yes. Uh, I found this a little queasy. I'll show you in a second. McDonald's designed a hideous PS5 controller, accidentally exposed it to the world. No, you can't dip it in curry sauce. Um, so, oh. where's the picture? Oh, my word. It's not. It just I, looks like it would be greasy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I, I just, just. I, I my hand. I picked that up and it slipped out of my hands. I don't know why I've got that impression. I really don't know why my brain is thinking that that's going to be greasy. <laughs> I. I. I don't like it. I just reckon that you know. You know. Whenever I see these people, they're customizing the con controllers on the PS5 and Xbox Series X. The PS5 one always gets me because that bit in the middle is touch, and I don't know if they fuck the touch. <laughs> I, I don't... I, I, I have no idea if they've, they've screwed the touch. This is unofficial, so they've done it without Sony's permission. That's, yeah, the, no, that's no. the first thing, because I'm sure Sony would have gone, you what? But the funny thing is, I reckon Sony would let Coke do a controller. I'm actually surprised there aren't Coke skins or that sounds really bad <laughs> Coke skins or sprite skins or fanta skins or something for controllers yeah yeah i'm really surprised because remember yo-yos when we were a kid this is a giveaway our age oh yeah yes yeah. yeah, and we I had the coca-cola yo-yos the fanta yo-yos etc sprite, sprite yo-yos i don't know to why go to the playground i've got a sprite one yeah yes i'm gonna walk the dog yeah i'm well, gonna I'm, go, I'm gonna i'm gonna flick this up it's gonna sting string's gonna break and it's gonna hit Chris Thomas in the face over there and make him cry. <laughs> That's my trick. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, shit. Um, you again. So, yeah. What are you doing in it again? Um, yeah, it's it was supposed to be to, as, as a collaboration for, for an Australian Twitch streamer who's supposed to give away 50 of the controllers as well as McDonald's 50th birthday hoodies. Yeah, um, well, it makes sense. You know, I, I see all the time, I scrolling through Facebook and that, you, you do see people customising controllers and things like that. They just do their own thing. I don't know if they give them away or sell them. Probably, I don't know if they can sell them, but... Uh, I've, 
I, 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 I've i got a bug in, my, bug in my bonnet about Xbox at the moment. Because Xbox, we're talking about custom controllers, yeah? An Xbox design lab, with the exception you can't put some images on there. You you can create a good controller with it. And it is fun to, to work out that you can do. And you create, I created a Fallout 4 one before they've even done it. Um, and it is it is good fun. And I do like that. The downside, I think, with it is, is you can't put like images on it. So mm-hmm. you can't put Spartan 616 or, or whatever it is um, for for Master Chief. Um, let me just I'm just doing a quick look. I'm just going to be careful first. Okay, cool. It's all right. It's all right. We had, uh, what was it? We had a uh, 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 Scarlett Johansson moment on Sunday's podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone appreciated it, though. Do you know really what? I did, probably um, used this and... Uh... Not not the PS5, but for the um, Xbox customizable controller, I probably end up getting um, something like God of War picture on it if I could. Sp- I look at the right. Sorry for the podcast listeners. Spider Man one looks that looks quite good. Yeah, let's have a look through. Look, here's, here's an Iron Man one. I'm not sure it's an Iron Man one, but they're attempting to. It's attempting to be an Iron Man one. That looks quite good, but. Again, we get back to that that McDonald's one, and it does feel a bit slippery. Ah, oh, my, that is a cool one. That Cyberpunk one looks good, doesn't it? Ah, oh, especially with the blue light, the blue and the yellow. Ah, oh, that is. You see, you have blue lights, and it, look, it instantly looks cool. That's Keith. That is blue yeah. lights make everything instantly look cool. See, they've got, they've got a, Ven- a Venom one there. It looks cool. These these are cool. Um, yeah. Uh, custom, I think custom, custom kind of controller is pretty good idea, um, but it's, it's it's a case of uh, don't don't make it look like uh, fast food and make yourself feel a little queasy, shall we say? So, <laughs> anywho, let's move on to our next story, which uh, is something to do with take two. Do you remember take two? They made Grand Theft Auto a while back and haven't made anything since. Sorry, it's so short. I didn't have time to press the thing. To look. <laughs> so the screen goes like, press it twice. Um, take two. It is announced an exciting new franchise later this month. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, publisher Take Two says it will be announcing an exciting new franchise later this month with a rele- uh, um, release planned before the end of the current fiscal year in March 2022. Is it, I want the new GTA game because the, the last generation of consoles didn't have a, a, a GTA game. It had a really good Red Dead Redemption game, yes, but not a GTA game. We got two for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. When we got one, two, three, three, was it? Yeah, three for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox. How have we not got it? seems to be getting further and further apart for, for these games. Um, wow. Well. Well, it says here, uh, Mafia Free Studio Hangar Thirteen is said to be working on a title named as Cthulhu. This is no, Row. I don't think it's this one, though. No. I don't think it's this one so, because it's because because if it's unknown that they're keeping it secret, then then they would say, "Oh, and it's this," because we've heard that whilst XCOM Fur Axis are creating a Marvel theme based turn uh, theme, uh, Marvel, Marvel theme turn based strategy game. That's a mouthful. Um, uh, so yeah, and while Take Two offers no hint to the nature of its new franchise in its earnings call this month, I'm hoping it's the agency. Do you remember the agency? No. Right, PlayStation had a big thing. We're working with Take Two, and we're developing a game called The Agency, and it never came out. It was vaporware. Oh. If it turns out that they're doing that, that'd be good. I would. It would be great if they turn around and went, you know what? It's it, it's it's Grand Theft. 406. Okay, fine. I'd accept that. We've we've um, called it No Theft Auto one. Yeah. It's, new new franchise. Yeah, no, no no theft auto. It's called cops. It's bad boys, it's bad boys. Just stop all the bad guys. Yeah. Um just some interesting things here, yeah, because we're talking about games and bits. Uh in addition to its latest GT5 update, Take Two has also shared a number of of some of its mega selling titles red dead redemption 2 for instance is now sold 60 million units worldwide take two calls it the second best best selling title 
in the US past three years based on dollar sales, while Borderlands 3 amassed $13 million in sales. I wasn't impressed too much with that. Um, and then it's got, uh, and for the curious about the franchise, Bioshock series has uh, sold a combined total of 38 million units combined, Sid Meier's Civilization, 58 million, million units combined, and NBA 2K series sits at 112 million units combined. That's that's the series of games. That's not Grand Theft Auto 5 or Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead, I think Red Dead Redemption is better than Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, because I know it, I know I know it is because I got attached to the character when he died. Oh. Spoiler warning: the character dies. <gasps> Uh, I've, not, I've not played it. Oh well. I'll yes. It. Yeah, right. it's it, it, it's good. Um, it, 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 it is. I do find find it amazing when you look at these 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 figures. Um, so let's uh, let me get the next one up, which I'm sure is it the notes Battlefield one. I didn't. With, I ended with Nintendo. Let's go and look at Battlefield, shall we? Shall we? I've no idea why I said shall we twice. Um, <laughs> Battlefield 2042 might not have a story campaign, but it's getting a short film. Um, okay. Yeah. What kind of short film, though? Is it a film film or is it a CGI film? Like a big cutscene? Because if it's a big cutscene, I'm not impressed. If it's an actual film film, I'm impressed. Um, DICE announced the existence of a new standalone cinematic short entitled Exodus over on Twitter earlier today, uh, revealing the mini-movie will detail the events that ultimately trigger an all-out war within the universe of 2042. I keep on wanting to say 2142 because that's the, sh the nuts. Yeah, yeah. Um, as Eurogame... Gamer? Gamer! Martin Robertson explained earlier this year, despite 2142 eschewing uh, a uh, solo campaign to focus on multiplayer. Still, uh, uh, It still does still play out. Uh, uh, there's a narrative. There's a story behind it. My mouth yeah, is this, wired. This is, this is going to show... It looks like this, this little short film is going to show what happens before 20, 2142. Mm. Or is it 2042? Yeah, 20... <laughs> It's before and you're doing what it I'm shows doing. the lead up to it and what happens. Yes. Yes. So it'll be it interesting to see up. how short it actually is. But it's a it will be coming out on the twelfth of August, uh, which is yes. four PM in the UK. So if you're in the US just before uh, around ten o'clock, maybe what day is that? Thursday. What day is that? Thursday. So next week. Thursday next week. Sure. Did you say when, when was it coming out? Tenth. I said uh, the twelfth of August. Oh, the twelfth. Okay. All right. I thought you said the tenth. Sorry, Mr. Sergio. This time. This time next week. This time next week. Well, just in time for us to review it on the pod on the podcast. Awesome. That's fantastic. I wonder what they. I, I wonder what they'll, they'll they'll show in regards to it. Is it just going to be an environmental disaster? Is it just going to be like you know twenty twelve? Like you ever seen 2012 with the with uh oh what's his mesh? Yeah, the film. Yeah, where they have the to film get where up the, Mount Everest every, and yes, because the neutrinos are changing and it's like oh my god, that's a dumb line. Dara O'Brien got that actor on stage to say that out to a out to a crowd because he thought it was funny. Um, so yeah, that'll be interesting. We'll be able to review that and, and have a look through that next week, uh, and we'll see what we can glean from it. In what way is it? Related to the Battlefield 21 universe and how the things play out, it's going to be interesting. Um, it's, it's the first time I've been excited for a Battlefield game. It's when they said this, they got the, they said that they're having Al Al Amain uh, map on it, and I was like, yes, give me a big old map. That's what I want. I loved, I loved that because I would, I would defend a point. I'd be like a one man army. I'd have like Claymore set up, and I'd be, I'd have a sniper rifle and a submachine gun. I just, I'd be like defending this point, just waiting for people to turn up and just picking them off, or playing commander, which was great too. We could call in the EMPs from space. Yeah, tell them where to really go. Take like the that. points. Yeah, it was yeah, decent. I'm sure, 
I'm sure Malcolm will probably say something about that. Oh, he liked telling people where to go. Um, yes, thank you, Malcolm. I will remember. I remember Saturday, bastard. Um, and I'm not going to repeat it because I don't want to be associated. So uh, let's move on to our next story, which is a bit of a flex. Nintendo outsells Nintendo Switch outsells the PS3 and Xbox 360. Right, the generation that that generation lasted a lot longer than it had right to, which I was quite grateful for. I, you know, I enjoyed that stuff. Uh, Nintendo Switch outsells it, uh, making Nintendo Switch the seventh most um, sold gaming console of all time. So, Nintendo Switch is outside the popular PS3 and Xbox 360 uh, consoles. The news comes from Nintendo's financial data, revealing the console has sold just over 89 million units. Now, would you like to take a guess of how many units the PS4 and Xbox 360 sold? And I've got, I, I forgot to put it in the notes, so give me a second. Um, <laughs> without well. Googling it. Well, I can, I, I can tell you how many the PS3 sold and the Xbox 360 because it's on the screen. <laughs> is it? Oh, fuck, it is a two, isn't it? Shit, that was supposed to be a guess. <laughs> I, yeah. I, would, um, I would hazard a guess at 87 have a guess. Four million units for the PS3 and 84 million units for the Xbox 360. I wonder yeah, how close play, that might be. Do you know what the place? Do you know what Sony does? Cheeky bastards! They kept the PlayStation running just until they beat the 360, and then they shut down production. Yeah, um, <laughs> they were like, "Have we beaten them? We beat them. We beat you next time. You think you won, but you didn't." <laughs> um, well, yeah. So the, the, the thing is, it still hasn't outsold the Nintendo Wii. Uh, it hasn't uh, outsold that's the Nintendo Wii. A PS4, I think. Is is just a, a PS4? Where is it? So the, the PS4 is fourth. Wii. Ironic, ironically, yeah. PS4 is fourth. Um, oh. at 100, 116 million units. The Wii, the Wii is at 101 million units. Yeah. So yes, I know the PS4 sold loads because I got, had bought two of them. I think you bought two of them too. Bought two what? Double dip PS4s. I had to because my first one broke. <laughs> the yeah. drive stopped working. Uh, so, unfortunately, yeah, two of those is me. Um, but hey, it is what it yeah. is. It's funny because I've ran another story saying that the, the Nintendo Switch sales were, were, were flagging. And I'm like, well, it's not like you've got a new console coming out soon that people probably want to buy, which would stop them buying the Nintendo Switch. Cough, cough, OLED version. Yeah. Dummies. So like, they've stopped buying the Switch for some reason. It's like they're waiting for something. What <laughs> could it what? be? I don't know. I, I do find it. Uh, I, I do find that uh, amazing. The, the the Wii sold 101 million units, um, which put it just behind the PlayStation. You know, behind the, yeah, behind the original PlayStation, which sold 102 million units um, worldwide. So I've got them up here. Game Boy and Game Boy Color. That, that's that's not fair. Game Boy and Game Boy Color. That's, no, that doesn't count because they're technically two different things. Um, Combine Nintendo it with DS Game Boy Advance. Phone. See, it's like this, PlayStation Two, still the biggest selling one of all time. Fifty-five million units. That's a lot of units. Fifty-five or one hundred and fifty-five. One hundred and fifty-five. Sorry, one hundred and fifty-five million units. Uh, just to pretend you didn't hear that. Um, yeah, so see, uh, Xbox's biggest one was the Xbox 360, which I uh, rightfully so should have, should have, you know, <laughs> should have kept on making it so PlayStation didn't beat you, but hey ho. Um, yeah, I, I, I have to say, I probably at uh, the generations, I probably enjoyed the 360 and the PlayStation 3 generation and the early aughts for PC. They were, they were great periods when you got the big boxes for games. So we're not putting a small box. We're going to give you a box the size of a book, but it only yeah. contains a dual CD and uh, a manual the size of the dual CD where you could have put in a bloody PS1 thing. But that, I, I, that's when I think when PC gaming was probably its best for me. Yeah, I I, um, I, I, I like the uh, PC gaming when it was like that, when you got a big a big old um, book, 
big old manual as well. Yes, he had something to, to thumb through while you were on the bus or the train on your way home this, from HMV or Virgin Radio the... Stores or whatever it was. I've got one here. Oh my god. You'll know what, what it is, Gary. Oh no, not ah. Dark Ages of Will a lot. Yeah. <sighs> All the bits so inside. You... It was good. Yeah, it's... It was good back then, PC gaming. Now it's just download it. Yeah, that's the thing is you've got nothing physical, can't hold it. It's not as it's not as enjoyable. It's not that feeling of ownership that you had. Yeah. I remember I had the I had, I had Half Life to the the opposing forces and the blue one. I can't remember what the blue one was. Oh the one where um, you played the security guard. Yes, uh blue um, blue shift. Blue shift, yeah. It's blue shift, that's it. Thank you very much. They they you get them but, in yeah. the orange box as a group. Yeah, I I remember I enjoyed the I enjoyed that. And I, that's one thing I kind of I, I I do miss about gaming. The downside is that the the idiots that hacked Half Life Two, yeah, are probably responsible for us not getting Half Life Three. And and the log logic goes like this, yeah, Half Life Two got hacked, yeah, so the game got released uh, to the underground torrenting community, the, yeah. the high C people, um, and because of that, they invented Steam. Yeah, and that is now where they get all their cash from is off, of, off the back end of Steam, so they don't need to make Half Life 3 or Portal 3 or anything with the three in it. Uh, no, they Ever don't like again. the number three, they don't like it. No, it's it's so annoying because it was like, kind of, you think they'd develop a new type of game engine to compete with Unreal? You sit there and go, Hey, you know what, we've got enough money to compete with Unreal to, for a game engine because they're competing with they've. The, the Epic guys are not scared of competing with you for your, your Steam store. So my advice is source version 3. Bring out Half-Life and um, what do you call it? Counter-Strike source 3 version. That'd be awesome. Um, but no, we're not getting that because they can't be... Because Gabe Newell is the equivalent of George R.R. R. Martin. He's going to eat himself to death. I swear to God he gets bigger every time I see a picture of him. That's just... Right, let's just do a quick check before we go. How can we find out how? Can I Google how heavy is Gabe Newell? <laughs> can I Google Gabe Newell? How old? How heavy? What have we sunk to? <laughs> I, know, I want to see how heavy it is Gabe Newell. Well, my God, he's five foot seven. He must be a ball. <laughs> he it? must be a ball. Um. So yeah, it's they're all quite well. Dude, yeah, no, I yeah. Can't be anything getting... like J.R. Martin, to be fair. Oh, everyone's worried that J.R. Martin's eating himself to death. That what is one KFC bucket from going over the edge? You're never gonna get. You're never gonna get that last book, Keith. Never. He's not, is um, he? No, he's not. So yeah, he. It's yeah, he he he, big chap. You're very big champ. And on that note, yeah. the Gabe Newell, on that breaking news that nobody knew, the Gabe Newell is almost a ball. <laughs> and he's five Because he's seven. a very big chap. Five foot seven. He's five foot seven and five foot cross. It's so I thought, oh, I, and I, was, right, yeah. I was fat, but I was never as fat as that. But then again, he's fat because he's just minted. Gabe Newell. I said, how much is Gabe Newell worth? Go on, let's just say. Gabe Newell probably let's... just gets in from the office to his home and he just rolls around in KFC. <laughs> he just got it laid about. He's got, he's got, he's got, a, he's got a pool and he greases the side with family bug buckets. But he doesn't even eat them. He's just like he's got his own KFC around. franchise in his house. Do you want to know how much he's worth? Go and have a guess before, uh, before we end the podcast. 400 million. 400 billion million million 400 million 400 billion bloody hell Jeff Bezos got run for me this is how this is how much he's worth he's worth 4.1 billion dollars US oh, wow jeez yeah yep he is I did not uh, put him he's up that richer high. than he's richer than Notch but Notch only ever made one game and he didn't even make a sequel to that game. Um, and on that bombshell, 
It's time we say goodbye, guys. Oh, oh, no, you're not banned. I thought you're not banned. We're just doing it on a different channel. That's all it is. We're doing it on the game face bunch channel, mate. So, uh, yeah, um, it's, it's gaming, gaming's on this one, and uh, TV mm, and movies mm, is on the uh, monkey nut punch one. But yes, thank you for turning up. Unfortunately, we're saying goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you're just in time to say goodbye. Yeah. Um, bye, guys. Well, thanks for thanks for watching. If you've been with us, come follow us on social media if you fancy it. Okay. Monkey nut punch or gaming face punch, one of those two. You'll find us. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we'll catch you later. Download the podcast from Monkey Nut Punch. No, MMP Ninja, and uh, we'll catch you later. And yes, thank you very much. I appreciate the woo great show for a man who was there for the last five minutes. <laughs> See ya. Peace out or something. I don't know.